The last time I went to see him, you know, I realized that medication had probably affected him. He said, um, there's a problem at the school and we need to take care of it. And I said, um, at what school? And I said, at MacArthur? And he says, yeah. I said, okay, I said, we'll take care of it. As a student growing up with, with him and under his, you know, principal leadership, he made sure and talked with us and built those relationships as students. But then as an educator, he would talk about, we're focusing on students. Ken had high expectations of everyone that he worked with. He asked questions all the time. He already knew the answers to those questions. There was a time I thought I had the perfect response for him. I said, sir, I don't think any response that I give you is going to be satisfactory. And he said, well, I'm giving you the opportunity. He did that because he was a great teacher. So he was a, a great teacher of teachers and a great teacher of everybody in the district. He didn't always praise you to your face. My last interaction was, was here. He looked at me and he said, Jerry, I want you to know you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. He still brought his, his staff gifts for Christmas, but here he was ill and he was still thinking about how he could impact others. Everybody that watched him work understands what it means to work hard for children. That legacy lives on. By the time we did his retirement party, we would have raised $20,000 to fund a scholarship. By the end of that time period, we were halfway to our second scholarship. It's most appropriate that the name on it be his. He actually came up with the idea of this building and that the kids deserved a better environment. I think this building speaks to his desire for an equitable education. I don't think any children misbehave so they can go to this school necessarily. Those of us who have been here know his approach to the work. That is still instilled in us today. Even now that he's gone, I hear his voice whenever I'm in a tough situation. And I say, okay, well, what's the process? As, as a student that grew up and, and saw his leadership as, as a principal, but then came back to Aldine and, and said, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give like Mr. Knibble gave. His legacy is now being carried out through even after he's gone. I give this wristband to all kids that come through, and it says, leave a legacy. Every day, you're working towards building your own legacy. And what are you going to do? 